Hello, hello. So I thought I would show you how to install Ubuntu server on a software RAID because I have a workstation laptop that can uh, fit two drives and I created a RAID array in the BIOS of that notebook but Ubuntu server doesn't recognize that Intel RST thing as a single drive it still show up as single drives so I'm forced to do software RAID and yeah I'm doing this in VMware because I can't get my cam link to capture my desktop or my laptop output for some reason but anyway uh, I have two drives here two 500 gigs drives <coughs> and yeah I'm going to create a RAID of these two of course if you have more drives you can use that but this is just to install Ubuntu server on the RAID itself so what to do is that you actually need to go down to custom storage layout and hit space and then tab down to done like this and here are the two drives first thing you need to do on both drives is to press enter here you get this menu and select use as boot device do the same with the second one add as another boot device and then on this first drive we are going to create a couple of partitions so first one just press enter here add gpt partition and the first one will be just the root or the boot. Uh, I don't know, not really, but the it should be just 10 space capital G. You need the space uh, format. Leave unformatted for now. And create. Do the same thing on the second drive, add partition, 10 space G, leave or formatted, create. And then we're going to create a second partition and this will be kind of the big, big one, the main one. Um, and I'm going to leave some space for the swap drive and how large the swap drive should be depends on which uh, distribution of Linux you are using and also how much RAM you got. Uh, Fedora have its own kind of thing doing the swap. I'm on Ubuntu here so if you have like 16 gigabytes, uh, you should have at least 4 gigs of swap if you're not using hibernation. And I guess this is a server, so I guess you're not going to use hibernation on these ones. But if you're going to use hibernation, you need at least the amount of RAM you have plus, what is it, 1.5 or the, the square root. So it, if you have like 16 gig, it will be like 20 gig swap. But right now I'm not going to use hibernation. So for Ubuntu server, four gigs of swap. So you see, you see size there max. So let's see if I can use 450 G and leave the, those five gigs for the swap. Same thing here. Uh, just leave unformatted, create, and then last one, same thing here, do the same add, and 450G, leave unformatted, 
create and then we are let's see the third one that should be leave this empty up here because it will use the rest of the space format swap create same thing on the second one swap create and now we got two swap over there on the top and then you got now we're going to create sort of a raid of these partitions so go down here where it says create software raid md and up here you can select the name I'll leave it at as default md0 and down here you can have the raid level if you want to mirror it or, or striped or whatever i'm going striped for this one i just want to have some speed Yeah, two active drives. So I select partition two here on the SDA drive. So space here and space there. Create. And then we're going to create another one here. Striped. And it should be three and three. And now we're going to click on this one and now we're going, actually going to create a position on this one. So I'm just going to leave the maximum space xt4 everything default create and I will select the md0 add this as boot device create. Now you get, have created the RAID array. You can go down and select done and continue. Now you can sort of just install Ubuntu as it is, as normal. Me, mini, me. Me, me, mini. Mini. One, two, three. One, two, three. Done. Install SSH. Yes, no, done. Done. And there you go. That's how you install Ubuntu server on a RAID array. So, uh, yeah. Catch you later.